make our own experiments. Not very healthy, but at least at least a little bit more healthier than the deep fried uh, uh, soil uh, soya sheet product. Huh? We will try to make further improvement next time huh, if we have the chance. Huh? Hi, now so uh, we have uh, some soil sheets, and uh, this is already cut. Huh? Some of the fresh soil sheets they have a hard edge. For this one, this is already cut. And so uh, you have to judge. Huh? Some would uh, have uh, the, the, the natural uh, soil sheets they uh, during their drying process they will have a hard edge you have to cut but for this one it's already processed so what you only have to do is uh, just roughly uh, clean it with a wet cloth uh. clean of the cloth yeah. this is a clean of course a clean wet cloth uh. and today we have brought um, fish soya sheets uh, and uh, I will try to see uh, how many we would uh, we use and we will just take one first. Okay, this is beautiful, huh? Translucent. Just to be safe, I will just wrap, just wrap, wrap it with a dry clean cloth. Huh? And now we are using one sheet first, and then we cut it. And this time we are also mixing, making an experiment. Huh? It can be successful. Yes. If it's successful, we will pose it. Huh? If it's not successful, we will just save it. <laughs> okay, now it's like that. And now we can we can proceed. Huh? And we will put it into a tray first. Okay, like this. Remember we have the pork stuffing and then I will just just put it like this. Just stuff it. The stuffing, a thin layer, deposit over here, okay? Same thing like this, okay, carry on until we fill up the one quarter of this soil sheet with pork filling. By doing so, now we are almost done. And so half here like this and then we gently press it so that it's even more even Because of the weight of this, I'm going to cover it first. Uh, just to even out of the, the, the top. Boom. Just check if there's some uneven layers, uh, and then we now right now sprinkle our our mushroom on top.
And finally, half of the wood from the side. Now, gently fold it back again. It's less sticky, huh? so we have to press it again to form an even layer because of there's some thickness of the of the shrimps huh? and now you see the beautiful pattern huh? created by the shrimps the carrot shrimp and the mushroom shrimp and the fungus the wood fungus are they beautiful huh? yes it's very attractive so now we have to gently very gently go to the other side Do the same again, huh? Gentle, gentle, gentle is the key. Flip back again. All right. Let's fold it first, huh? because it's quite difficult to handle. Pan is not large enough. And so, roughly, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, we cut here, okay, into half, huh? because we have not, we do not have enough, the pan is not large enough to accommodate this beautiful stuff. Okay, like this, yes, okay, then now uh, we can start frying. Now, the, as usual, uh, we are frying and start frying and then the pan is already hot, okay. And we put in the generous layer of oil. As usual, uh, this is our recent result of the research, uh, just think a little bit salt to make it less sticky to the wok. Because if we, are, we are using a stainless steel pan, uh, if you are using a Already a, a, a anti stick pan with a, with a already an anti stick layer, then no need to our pan. Oh, just make that. Just make a slightly pack it. I think it, we, have all fried, we have already fried for about uh, 3 minutes and now we can fit. Mm. Okay, okay. So just rest it. This will be very desirable, huh? If it doesn't stick to the wok. And now we have uh, three minutes, uh, at least on both sides of the of the piece of pancake, I should say. I don't know how to describe it. And then we can now transfer to a tissue paper to absorb the residual oil. Hello, guys. Uh, just take a look at this. Uh, we we have uh, three batches of frying. And we inspect the lowest layer huh, is already the tissue paper absorbed with such a lot of oil. Huh? And you see, when we fry, we are only shallow frying. And then the oil release is already that much. Huh? So you can imagine if you are deep frying, the stuff huh, is even more oil huh? and it's so unhealthy. Um, and this dish is not very healthy. But at least, huh, just judging from the oil release, huh, if you are deep frying something, then how many oil go to your body? Huh? You see, all wet huh? with oil is terrible. Huh? So I would recommend you guys huh, not to deep fry any food huh? Huh? as far as possible. Huh? Forget about those uh, Jolly Bee, huh? the, the uh, Kentucky chicken. Huh? They are so, so unhealthy. 
we have collected the uh, um, residual liquid after frying uh, from the pan. And now we are also adding one, one, one uh, half a tablespoon of black vinegar. Uh, this is the old vinegar. The Xinjiang, Xinjiang uh, vinegar. Uh, but you can have other kind of black vinegar. We are flowing in our grate of ginger. Using the ginger flavor, we add in our diced shallots. And then we throw in our diced garlic. Now, why garlic last? Because the garlic would be, uh, be stick to the wok more easily and would become brown more easily. So, when we go out to the restaurant, we see that. Uh, food is uh, tasteful because they add a lot of oil, 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 oil. And now, thank you, we are going to uh, reduce the fire a little bit up because uh, you, the, the, the pan is very hot and we are throwing in this residual liquid. Huh? You can see, huh? Let's just pick up all the remaining residue. A bit more water. And then just cook for a short while. Uh, for the other two pancakes, uh, soya pancake. Our final dressing, huh? Lovely, and let's enjoy. So yeah, man. Man. yeah. All right.